Hello and welcome, I'm Arumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play more of our Better Than Napoleon campaign in Europe Universe House 4. So, um, I have been looking around the map a little bit and I think we're going to march up this way. What kind of supply do we have? 28, 30, 19, 30? 29, about 30 or so. Yeah, the attrition won't be too bad. Should be pretty minimalistic. But yeah, we're going to go siege this province up here because we're going to separate piece Novgorod and we're going to take Neva. And the reason we're going to do that is so that we can actually fabricate up in this general area and get to Moskva. And then we still also need to probably fabricate on Dalmatia so that we can get to Gors, so that we can get to Veen. Or we could go just like up this direction. But yeah, we're just going to work to our those other two provinces and we'll kind of go from there. We have some issues with support. <coughs> Whoa, suddenly sneezing. Sorry about that. How are we doing on uh, this war? Oh, well, obviously we're going to take land from Sweden. Obviously. England has rivaled us. Austria has rivaled us. Wonderful. Now, I'm tempted to... Um, actually, when we are done with this war, rival Bohemia and Austria both. Since it does seem to me like we're having issues with getting the vote, and if we rival them and then end up at war with them, that will probably be enough to put those two countries down. Maybe, I hope. <clears throat> we'll just keep this blockaded. I don't think that we need to worry about Sweden. We do have... how many transports? Just the 16. Could bring this, this army over. And I'd rather not fight him if I don't have to. We, we do have only 16,000 manpower now. Novgorod is on tech 8 to our tech 9, so we've got our tactics advantage still. That's rather significant. If there is any chance that he could take this, I do want to get that army out of there. Please stop doing that. Are, are you really going to do this to me? You're such a little bastard. Now, chances are pretty good that we're not going to have a lot of supply out here. Twenty-seven is pretty decent. We'll still want to break off. A couple troops. Let's forward the cannons, though. So we can get Neva down quickly. Wow. That manpower suddenly went away. Suddenly. Skov is occupied by Sweden. Hmm. Well, I suppose since we have an army here, we could try to siege it back for him. We're not involved in that war. Actually, you know, no, he's he's part of the war. Okay, Skov is a vassal in Muscovy, so that is going to be worth a little bit of war score. 3.5. We'll try to take that back. And it does look like he is going to try to prevent me from... Where are you going? Did I just totally miss a naval battle? I think I did. Please don't take back Scotty. Eh? If he wants to cross the straight... Ah, shoot. Rats. Well, that was pretty quick. That's good. I think we focus on getting a little bit of individual war score with Novgorod. Piece them out. Another three cannons here. will take us up to ten. Get us the five bonus. Losing Scane does hurt. <coughs> <clears throat> I think we can kill that navy. We have way more heavies.
And those galleys are pretty weak. We'll lose a ship or two, but he'll lose more. Yeah, we only lost a galley. Oh, and he, uh... See if he wants to come out and try to block it. Let's see... Siege guy is over here doing nothing. He can definitely help out with taking Scotty back. I think we'll lose the Diplo power. And I am going to actually spend a little tiny bit of Papal Influence to, to try to become the next Papal Controller. That's all, just a little tiny bit. Unfortunately, we are not getting the full 5 bonus because we're 30 cannons shy. There's no way that Bohemia is ever going to vote for me. So yeah. Well, hello there, sir. Fifth of August. It's kind of kind of slow. We can get to here on July 29th. Not fast enough that I can put a leader there. Remember when you used to be able to dis, uh, disband leaders? in enemy territory by creating a new army or just shuffling them around. July 26th. Nope, still won't be able to get that leader there. We need to get a leader. Yep, I'm just gonna have to try. Oh, my bad. He, he's not actually going there at all. Whoops. Okay, what did Brunswick do that they weren't supposed to? I want to end this war. We've got Novgorod's capital. That might be enough that they'll, they'll agree. We already got Danzig. That was, I think, the primary purpose of this war. Unless I'm just completely mistaken. So, if I took this from you directly... I will have to pay a small amount of Diplo, but very, very little, because we have full offensive, or sorry, full influence. So we take this, and then heck, we maybe even... Could we go inland a little bit? No. I think we, do, we just need one, just something to get over here so we can start working towards Muscovy. On the other hand, if we negotiate with Sweden, we're going to want to return this land to Denmark. We're going to want these three as well. He is the war leader, so I should be able to just ask for them anyway. Uh, but now we're demanding land without having a, a siege completed, so... I guess for some reason that means that he's gonna come and engage me. 33 ships, that's actually kind of sizable. I'd love to peace out Novgorod. Let's just peace them out right now so we definitely win this fight. All I really want from you. Suddenly the naval battle is a little bit more in our favor. Nation of Castile is requesting you come to the, in the Castilian conquest against a bunch of Muslims. Sure. Hopefully that is enough. Very small army, and we've got cannons. Four cannons, three in the front row. Yuck. No. 
I need to finish this siege so that I can end this war. Could you please not do that? We'll fight the Navy yet again. Be there till next month. So we'll wait here for a month, get that repair done. Now that we have this, we can transfer control to Denmark. And we can do the peace deal where we get back all of the Danish cores. Did I remember that one? No. Oh, interesting that even though it's not occupied, when I select it, it still gives it to Denmark. That's good. And then, uh... We could try to take some more land up here. Just so that we have something adjacent to this. It's a lot easier to defend two, prov two provinces versus one. Not to mention we've got this adjacency with Denmark. I could actually... Yeah. It's easy, cheap land. I'd like to have this connection, sure. Sounds pretty good to me. Okay, so we're done with that, and... We're still at war with Castile now. Not against them, but you know, with them. The Borg is actually too far away to core. Why it's kinda of weird. Neva's coreable, but the Borg is not. Somehow that one's farther away. Very strange. Okay, in unlawful territory. Um yeah, you should give that back. What else should we do? I mean, I'm at peace now. I'm not at peace. I can't I can't do rivals and I can't Damn you, Castile. Well, with these diplomats, I do think that we're going to want to Start working towards Moscow. Fastest way we could get there would be if we got a border. One of these three. We could go... Ladoga. Some of these are really high development, though. There's nothing wrong with that. It's just going to be a little bit harder to get our hands on. We'll just make a, a beeline straight there. You know, we'll just fabricate on Ladoga. <clears throat> we don't have to get a claim on Moskva. Just have to get an adjacency to Muscovy so that we can declare the war. Or attack someone that he's allied with. Right now he's allied with us. That's not going to change. Or sorry, that will change. It's not going to last. That's what I meant to say. So do that claim, and then we needed to get started down here. We already have a claim on Dalmatia. Bosnia is allied with Austria. Perfect. I'd like to rival Austria first, and then humiliate them. So we need to be at peace. Brandenburg is an elector, and they just did something they weren't supposed to. They will return their territory, but they're not going to like me afterward. But yeah, whatever. Give it back. Probably really doing crappy, crappy on the election now. Hmm.
We're trying to improve relations with... We're trying to get Trier to support us. You know, this mission is not going to happen. Just not going to happen. I am constantly trying to improve relations with these guys, and it's just not good enough. Oh well. If we lose the Empire, we can still do the achievement. I mean, it'd be horrible to lose it, but... Let's say we end up at war with, um... Austria, right now. I doubt that we'd be able to call too many people in, but right now two people are supporting Austria, one is supporting us. This damn controlled other electors thing. Really ruining my ability to straighten things out. What's this in? Mines. Another elector. He's not willing to do it because why? Because I've done it already. Very well. I assume that that modifier stays on there as long as they've got opinion forced return territory. And the reason why it's, it's showing it that way, the opinion underscore forced return territory, is because of one of the mods I'm using, the better UI mod. For some reason he changed a couple of the, like, define, like the, the uh, localization folder files. And then the game got updated and he didn't patch it. So, that somehow messed it up. Okay, so we were already uh, recently at war with Novgorod. I can't attack him again. I don't need another claim to do what I'm going to do. We're just going to take the land straight up to Moskva. <coughs> so. Baden, Saxony, and Savoy. Surprised Savoy even still exists. Very small now. They'll certainly help. Okay, I'm gonna take a short break here. Um, we'd already integrated Provence, we'd already done that math before. Good improved relations with the Papal State. I haven't done that in a little bit. <coughs> I have this tickle in my throat, just will not go away. And it looks like the Reformation's beginning. That is rather annoying. Why are we losing money? 49 ducats a month on armies. My gosh. That's a lot of men. These cannons are expensive. Why do they cost 32? Do we have a like a increased cost modifier right now? They don't normally cost that much. Normally it's 10, 25, 30. Could, that, could it really just be inflation causing that much? Wow. Well, um, let's buy down inflation a little bit.
We're not going to need too many more points to actually get this achievement, so... Should be good. Hey, we're at peace. Excellent. Alright, cool. So I'm going to uh, rival Austria. And we're going to probably want to rival England again. I don't plan on attacking Poland, now that we have what we need. So sure, we'll, we'll rival England. And we can probably declare this war right away. You'll call in Austria. Um, our goal is just going to be to lower his prestige and you know, trash his country a bit. Puts us to war with the Papal State, unfortunately. Unless we attacked Austria directly. There's no other, like, claims that I can fabricate to get up in there. Unless we wanted to attack... No. No. It's gonna pretty much have to be Bosnia. I wish I could find a way to stay friends with the Pope, though. Maybe we declare a war on Naples. And then while we're doing that war... We would call... We would do our, our war separately without any allies. That might work. Depends on whether or not he has claims or interest in that land. Sure, we'll fabricate one claim on Abruzzi, and we will probably find a way to get the Pope to ignore this war. Alright, I'm going to take a break here. I'll see you again in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you soon.